How to make an infographic in Canva step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build your own infographics in Canva. So let's jump right in. Now to get started, just log on to your Canva account. And if you don't have one already, it's really simple to sign up. All you have to do is use your email address and that is it. It's completely free and you don't have to put in your credit card or anything. Now, the best part about using Canva is the fact that they have so many templates. So you can go ahead and go into the search bar and you can search for infographic over here. Now, once you search for infographic, the recommended template size is a 800 by 2000 pixels. So just click on this over here. Now, what this will do is that this will lead you to a bunch of different templates that you can use for infographics. So as you guys can see, there are so many different types of infographics you can build. You have detailed one, you have step-by-step -step ones, you have these larger ones where there's a lot of detail. Then you have the design process ones. You have quite a few different options available. So you can pick out the one that fits your niche or industry the best. And you can further click on the filters over here and choose a particular theme, style, brand, or a particular grade that you might be targeting as well. So let's say we want to build a infographic for brainstorming or something along those lines where we're, you know, uh, building a brainstorming guide or guiding people how to write down their ideas or materialize those ideas that they usually brainstorm so for that i want something that's creative i don't want something that's text heavy i want something that's really fun and easy to look at so i'm going to browse these templates and there are quite a few different ones you can even build your own infographic from scratch so it's totally up to you but i really like this one over here so it is the creative process this template is really nice and it's not too empty while keeping you know a lot of information within it and there's also this one over here so i'm going to be using this particular template and i'm going to click on customize this template to get started now, once you open up a template, it's going to look really small, but you're going to zoom in to actually be able to see everything. Now, you will see your top section where you're going to enter the title of the infographic or whatever goal your infographic is trying to achieve. So for us, let's say we are going to mind map or brainstorm effectively. Brains how to brainstorm effectively. How to brainstorm effectively like this and i'm going to take this illustration and i'm going to put it over brainstorm over here and then i'm also going to just adjust it a little so it fits better and then i might want to decrease the transparency of this so make it slightly more transparent it's not you know catching your eye too much so the first thing we have brainstorming and there's this illustration over here let's say at the back i don't want this black you know black background so i can delete that and i'll change the background color to black to just be able to see everything let's say i want to go for a light pink background and i want all the illustrations and the text to be black so i would click on everything and select black as the text color and then i'll change the illustrations later but i'm going to convert the page to white so you guys can see again now i'm going to add a textured background i want the background to look like it's paper so you're going to go into your left panel and do elements and then just search for paper over here so once you search for paper, you have photos and graphics. Usually I easily find textured, you know, textured paper in the paper section like this. And what you're going to do, uh, you're going to expand this. If you don't like the particular texture, you can keep on searching. There are multiple different types of paper textures that you can find. You have this one, you might have this one, and you can even go into the graphic section to find different styles as well. So we have this brown paper as well. We have this one as well. I think I'm gonna go with this one over here, which is this darker brown color. And you're going to expand this over the entirety of your frame, which is pretty large. So you're gonna have to expand it pretty big. And you might be like, hey, this just ruined everything. No, you're going to place it. And then you're gonna do a right click 
and then click on layer and then click on send to back now this will send it to the background and from here you can start adding more so i am going to add another torn paper over here like so and i'm going to move this up and i'll put this behind brainstorm to give it a you know boosted effect so it looks a bit nicer and more prominent then we have our illustrations let's say i want to add you know uh, a nice little effect so i'm gonna search for vintage paper like this and i might want to insert one of these behind every illustration so i'm just going to click on layer and i would click on send backward this time and i'm going to rotate it a little like this and then i can change the illustrations and text accordingly so i'm going to go into elements and search for brainstorming and i'm going to go into the graphics section over here and i can insert the particular type of illustration that i want so let's say i want to go for this one over here so i can just insert this and then i'll just resize it a little and just like that we have inserted our illustration then i can click on the text and start adding you know my own information so share ideas with your mates as soon as you have them diverge into the topics blah 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 whatever it might be then we have the rest of our illustrations and we have the decorative touches now you can add more decorative touches you can add numbers within your infographic you can add more visual elements more images if you want then once you have completed your entire design because this infographic might be printed you can go for a pdf print while downloading however if it's going to remain online you don't necessarily need to do a pdf print you can just download this as a png to do that simply click on share on the top right and then click on download from here you have multiple different file types so you can just select png for a digital only infographic however if you're looking to print you can go for pdf print and then download and just like that you have a infographic made in canva ready to go and you can follow the same steps just open up a blank canvas if you want something that's absolutely customized to your particular style so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.